Now to our top story, a teacher at Douglas Middle School in Woodland has been disciplined after allegedly helping 19 students on a state test in May. Thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Janes. I'm Sam Shane, and tonight the State Department of Education has declared those 19 students' test scores are invalid. CBS 13's Angela Mosalem is getting answers tonight. Will those test scores even count for the school? Angela? Sam Christina, we're told the school has made similar reports in the past for minor infractions, but nothing like this year that caused the state to throw out nearly two dozen students' test scores. It was here at Douglas Middle School in Woodland, where a teacher allegedly helped 19 students during a state exam in May. A student in the class at the time reported the incident to another teacher, who then notified the district. It was just um, someone who may not have just followed the rules as tightly as they should have been followed. Tom Pritchard is the assistant superintendent for the Woodland Joint Unified School District. He says 19 students essentially had their test scores tossed out because of the incident. So we wanted to know how will that teacher's actions affect those 19 students? They're not penalized in any way be because of this. But in terms of the school's overall scores, those, those 19 tests um, are actually counted at the lowest level. Douglas Middle School's overall ranking is still up in the air. According to the Department of Education, California rolled out a new statewide computer-based test last year, but there's no accountability system for that test yet. We're just waiting to see how that might affect our overall um, performance. A spokesman for the Department of Education says there's a review process even for the new test. He says, quote, there's a very formal process for investigating and dealing with these sorts of issues. The issue in Woodland was considered an irregularity. And we're told that teacher was given a letter of corrective action about a week after the incident was reported. Now, the assistant superintendent tells me his main focus for now is teaching and training these teachers for next year's state exam to avoid what happened this year. All right, Angela Masalam, live in Woodland Forest tonight. Angela, thank you.